Hello all. In this video, I will review the 2-in-1 development board with programmer designed by Vega RoboKit. This is universal for both 8051 and Avia family 40 pin ICs. It has got onboard programmer capable of programming both AVR as well as 8051 ICs. 8051 IC is hosted by the ZIF socket on board. Another 40 pin ZIF socket with the conversion PCB is supplied to host AVR ICs. For using AVR IC, this extra socket has to be placed on the ZIF socket. And then AVR IC is placed on the second socket over this. The development board has got onboard 5 volt regulator, 12 volt 1 amps adapter can be used to power up the board. This board can also be used uh, by the USB socket itself. The selection between USB and the adapter is provided by the switch here. There is the small switch. You can select this for uh, USB power or adapter power. There is an ISP selection switch which can be used for, for selecting the board in programming mode or development mode while programming you have to put this uh, switch in ISP on position during development and uh, checking up you can put this switch in off position there is also separate reset keys for 8051 as well as AVR the chip selection is done by the uh, jumper here this is a small jumper you have to select it for uh, 8051 or uh, AVR before providing power supply. The board has got a 7 segment array with uh, drivers. It has also got 8 LEDs with uh, current limiting resistors for testing port outputs. A 4x4 matrix keypad is also on board. LCD can be connected uh, to the connector here. And also for 8051 IC, you can provide ADC 0804 IC on this socket. There is also a motor driver IC ULN2003, an E square prom IC, and an I2C IC. Analog input can be tested using this preset and digital inputs using this uh, micro keys rs232 is provided by this max 232 ic you can also use external isp programmer using this connector first let us see how to program uh, 89s51 ic and then how to test this Place the 89S51 IC onto the ZIF socket. Pin 1 should match the handle. Close the handle. Select the jumper here to 8051. And then put the ISP switch to on position. First thing is to select the jumper to 8051. Second is to switch the uh, ISP to on position and then provide the USB connector I'm going to use the USB power supply connect the USB connector and then put the switch to USB position you can see the power LED here Now open up the device manager. Inside the device manager you can see the COM port allotted. Here it is uh, prolific USB to serial COM port allotted is COM42. You should have installed the prolific USB to serial driver previously. Otherwise you will get an exclamation mark here. 
we use wilpro software uh, for testing uh, for fusing the hex file this wilpro software is a standalone one uh, no installation is required you just open the wilpro software and try to connect this fail to connect programmer and it enters uh, demo mo mode the reason is the com port allotted is in double digit the wilpro software uh, requests that the com port allotted should be in single digit that is from 1 to 9 here the port allotted is double digit to change this right click on this port allotted and then select properties now click on port settings and then click advanced from the drop down you select the port number as a single digit here I'm selecting 9 which is free even if all the ports are in uh, use you can select any port single digit port and then overwrite it select 9 and then click on OK now the port allotted is in single digit now remove the USB cable from the board and then connect back again you can see the prolific USB to serial COM port allotted COM9 what we have selected previously. Now open the Vilar software. The Vilar has entered the online mode as you can see at the bottom. Now click on device and then select the device as 8089S51 ISP. Uh, remember to select the ISP version and not the plain version. If you select the plain version, you will get device ID error. Select 8089S51 at ISP. Click on OK. You can see the device model has been selected. Now click on load button at the top. And then browse to the location where you stored the hex file. This hex file has been created using Kale software. It is, a, uh, it is a code for blinking uh, LED at P101, 1.0. Click on open and select the Intel hex file type. Click OK. Now the file has been loaded successfully. You can click on program. This is the program button you can see at the left pane. Click on that. Programming is being done. You can see program is successful now. You can also use this uh, auto facility. If you click on auto, then this uh, all the functions will be done one by one. Blank check, erase, program, verify and then protect. If you get device ID error while program, double check for this switch in ISP on position and the chip selection is on 8051. These two selections are important. Now we shall check whether the programmed code is working. Change this switch to ISP off position and connect a wire to P1.0 to one of these LEDs. Now you can see the LED blinking. The code is successfully loaded and tested. Now we will see how to program and test an AVRIC 80 Mega 16L. First change this jumper to AVR position.
put the ISP switch to on position now use this converter zip socket place the converter on the existing uh, board socket and then place the 80 mega 16 L IC on the new socket lock the handle and ensure that uh, pin 1 is uh, near the handle now the setup is ready open the Vilar software ensure that uh, Vilar software is in online mode click on device and then select 80 mega 16 L at ISP select the ISP version and then click on OK now the device model has been selected now click on this load button and then browse to the location where you have stored the uh, hex file this is the hex file for uh, blinking LEDs on port B click on open select the Intel hex format and then click OK now the file has been loaded successfully you can click on this program button on the left pan to start the programming now the programming the flag flash is uh, successful now you can also do this operation from this uh, operate button and then uh, program now we will test the loaded program change the ISP switch to off position connect a wire from port B7 to one of these LEDs you can see the LED blinking successfully so the same development board has been used for uh, 8051 as well as AVR ICs 40 pin ICs as well as 20 pin ICs can be programmed using this uh, development board this is the AVR adapter pin details for uh, 40 pin ICs uh, port B is to the left hand side top and uh, port D to the bottom to the right hand side you have the port A and port C the same board can also be used to test 20 pin ICs this is the AT Tiny 2313 20 pin IC pin configurations according to this uh, port pins you can do the programming thank you for watching